Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the recently launched 2023 Honda City facelift. New Honda City facelift is offered only in a petrol and hybrid option. Diesel is no longer on offer. Sedans and Honda often go hand in hand. With the City lineup, Honda has had a great run in its 25 year long string. With City as its formidable weapon, Honda is getting ready for a battle in the mid-size sedan space. We are talking about the Hyundai 4th generation Verna for India which is coming in hot and more power and heavy with more features. Anticipating a bloodbath, Honda is now fortifying city with features borrowed from its hybrid counterpart. Honda hopes to retain its dominance in mid-size sedan space with this update new city's facelift 2023 model is priced from rupees 11.49 lakh for the base petrol manual transmission variant while the top of the line city hybrid variant is priced at rupees 20.39 lakhs all prices are ex-showroom this makes the city uh, new city up to rupees 20 35k more expensive than before uh, in typical honda fashion changes on the city facelift are very subtle. Honda is known to establish design differences with very minimal changes. By keeping most things similar, Honda has priced to the new city aggressively. They had concentrated more on introducing features new tech in, uh, into its segment. With city facelift, the main change that Honda has come up with is its front bumper. Other than that, there are a few Fox carbon fiber bits of the composites used in the front and rear bumpers. This sort of radiates city RS vibes that is not offered in India. At the front, bumper is now reprofiled to make it slightly sportier. The thick chrome bar below its bonnet shut line in slightly smaller, which adds a lot of sporty character to city's front fascia. Adding to that effect is a slightly larger grille. Speaking of grille, Honda is now offering a mesh type grille as opposed to older one with horizontal elements. Lower half of the bumper is slightly revised too. We now get design elements that mimic wiglets on a superbike. Lower air dam gets a mesh treatment too, replacing the horizontal slats on the outgoing model. Only oddity is that uh, Honda hasn't matched the upper and lower grills. In this sense, upper grille has much larger crevices than the lower one. Honda City was a fairly feature loaded sedan to begin with. It offered a leather wrapped steering wheel, gear knob, padded door pads, auto dimming IRVM, electrically operated and foldable ORVMs, an 8 inch infotainment system, a fully digital instrument console, a sunroof, automatic climate control and a lot more. With the facelift, Honda has added its sensing suit of camera based Adastec. Unlike upcoming Hyundai Verna with a radar based Adas suit, Honda's camera unit is installed below its IRVM. It offers automatic emergency braking, lane change assist, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring and a lot more. The lane change assist camera below left ORVM is retained as is with the same functionality as before. With RDE norms setting in front uh, in, uh, in from March 31, 2023, Honda has discontinued diesel powertrains and City and Ames. A yeah, sole 1.5 liter naturally aspirated petrol motor making 118 bhp of power and 145 Nm of torque made it to either a 6 speed manual or a CVT. Fuel efficiency claimed is around 18 km per liter. It also comes with strong hybrid option, the only one in the segment claiming mileage of more than 26 km per liter. It is, it is uh, interesting to see how the new city takes on rivals. We say this because all of its main rivals except for the Sias are offering a 1.5 liter turbo petrol with up to 160 PS of power and modern and quick shifting DSG gearboxes as well. What City offers is a no nonsense approach in the midsize sedan segment. Please comment your views about the new Honda City uh, sedan. Please stay tuned to our channel for further updates. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel.